Hey everyone, I'm Kelly from Project Invent, and today we're going to learn a lesson on design thinking, on how you can redesign the world around you. Have you ever gone to a new place like a friend's house or a hotel room and just had no idea how to use their shower? You couldn't tell which way was hot and which way was cold, or how to move the water from the bathtub head to the shower head. Now close your eyes and imagine if you were a visually impaired person trying to figure this out. Imagine how much harder that would be. Today we're going to learn how to design a better shower for everyone, and we're going to do that through design thinking. Design thinking is a process for solving problems. You can think of it as a toolbox in your head. You need a few tools in your toolbox to be an effective problem solver. You need to know how to put yourself in other people's shoes, come up with creative ideas, and build new solutions. These tools are called empathy, brainstorming, and prototyping. Let's start with empathy. Empathy is finding out what your user wants and needs. Our user is someone who wants to take a comfortable shower, even if they can't see. In order to take a comfortable shower, our user needs to turn the water on to a comfortable temperature, quickly, and without using their vision. Now we're going to brainstorm some ideas about how to design a better shower. Brainstorming is the process of coming up with lots of crazy wild ideas. For example, what if you created a fingerprint scanner that you touch when you enter the bathroom, and it tells who you are and gets the shower to the perfect temperature and water pressure just for you. Wouldn't that be amazing? Or how about a slider for temperature instead of a knob? A different type of control for pressure and heat can really help someone change the setting on their shower without needing eyesight. Now I want to know if my idea works, so I'm going to prototype it. Prototyping is building a version of your idea so you can test it. It can be as simple as cardboard and markers. Here's mine. Now I want to test it out with someone. Looks like he liked it. That's the value of prototyping. When you test it with a friend, you can learn how to make things better and improve it. You can use the same tools of empathy, brainstorming, and prototyping to redesign anything. Now find something else in your house and redesign it. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.